Hello everyone, my name is Alec from the Undersea Museum, and I am here to talk to you about today's STEM experiment. Today is a pretty cool one, and one of my personal favorites. We are going to get to make and test our very own diving bells. Now you may be wondering what a diving bell even is, and they're pretty different from the sleigh bells and jingle bells here in the wintertime. First off, a diving bell is a lot bigger than a normal bell, and people like this old sailor here would use them to go hang out underwater and sail out with some fish. Not only do diving bells help us make some new fishy friends, but they also get used for some pretty important stuff. For example, back in the day, if a submarine ever got stuck underwater, the Navy used to send down diving bells with helpful sailor buddies to go give them a hand. Now you might be wondering just how diving bells let us do all this cool stuff underwater. And the answer to that question is that diving bells make use of a special thing called pressure to help keep sailors nice and dry. You see, when you put a diving bell underwater, all the air on the diving bell wants to come out and bubble up to the surface but all the water outside of the diving bell wants to come into the bell. Now, the air can't leave the bell and the water can't go in at the same time, so they start pushing against each other, which is what creates the pressure that holds everything in place. And in 1690, a British scientist named Edmund Hawley used his knowledge of pressure to upgrade the design of the diving bells of his time, making them more efficient letting sailors go down a lot deeper and stay down a lot longer than what they used to be able to. And now that we know all that, we're ready to get started with our experiment. Hey everyone, and welcome to part one of the experiment. First thing you're going to need is a little spool of tape. I recommend using double-sided tape. Second thing you're going to need is a cup, preferably see-through. And lastly, you're going to need a little body to help you out with your experiment, just like from the presentation before. First thing you're going to do is take a little piece of tape, not too big, not too small, just enough to cover up your body with. Next thing you're going to do is want to grab your little buddy. You're going to Cover them up with that piece of tape you got. Make sure it's nice and pressed on there, nice and sticky. And once you got that on your buddy, you're gonna go ahead and grab your cup. You're gonna take your little buddy and you're gonna gently put him inside the cup and pat him down, make sure he's nice and snug. And then give your cup a little shake, make sure he's not gonna fall out of there. And just like that, we have our makeshift diving bell. See you in step two. Hey everyone, great job with part one. Now it's time to start part two. For this step, you're gonna want your makeshift diving bell from the first part with your little buddy inside. And you wanna get yourself a nice big body of water. I'm using this fish tank, but feel free to use a sink or a bathtub, whatever works for you. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab your little buddy and his makeshift diving bell. And you're gonna gently put him into the water, nice and slow. If it's a little too hard to push them down, that might mean there's too much air in your diving bell. So you're, you might want to get a smaller cup to have less pushing up against you. You're going to hold your buddy down there for a few seconds, let him take in the view. And once you're ready, you're going to want to gently start bringing them back up, nice and slow. It's okay if a few bubbles come out, that's fine. And once you get your buddy out, Make sure to give them a nice little shake, get that extra water off the cup, and then put them back down. All right, now that we got our buddy back and out of the water, we're gonna wanna pull him out and check up on him. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna wipe down the outside of the cup. So that way when we're pulling out our buddy, we don't accidentally spill some water on him. So give it a nice little wipe down. Once we do that, we are going to go ahead and turn over our cup. And then we're going to want to gently reach in there and pull our buddy out. 
Make sure to be extra careful because of the tape so we don't rip the paper. There we go. Now that we got our buddy all pulled out of his diving bell, we're going to give him a quick little tap down, make sure he's nice and dry. And with that, we're done with our experiment. Great job, everyone. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you guys in the next video.